St. John's is booming. Recently, the city of St. John's tabled its State of the Economy document, and the news is overwhelmingly good. In the past 10 years, average income has steadily risen. The labor force participation rate continues to outpace the rest of Canada, and unemployment in the city is half of what it was in 1996. The average MLS housing price has increased 80% in four years, and almost 15% last year alone. Airport travel rose 7.7% last year and 55% over the past 10. Tourism revenues in the city have grown almost 70% since 2000. But growth in St. John's has come at the expense of the rest of the island. In 1991, just over 31% of Newfoundlanders lived in the St. John's CMA, but in 2010, almost 38% lived there, without major increases in provincial populations. Over 50% of provincial GDP emanates from the population in St. John's, but that same population is aging rapidly, and our bread and butter, oil revenues, are already on the decline. But dwarfing any of those concerns at the moment is the staggering amount of major construction projects in development in the city. It seems at every turn there's a shovel in the ground. Major projects in the city include the new Canada Forces Base in Pleasantville, the Henry Bell Complex downtown, the new long-term care facility in Pleasantville, a new Fortis office tower, Eastport Properties office building, new highways are being built through Torbay from St. John's to Mount Pearl, and there's even new bike lanes sprouting up. It's like Sim City out there. With this growth comes serious concern. Water shortages seem to compound every year. We are beginning to feel the effects of urban sprawl, and our public transit shortcomings become more obvious as we get bigger. The good news is that City Council has finally decided to look at its city plan that had previously been left stagnant since 2003. And there's a number of community organizations such as happycity.ca that are popping up that care about how we decide to grow. Do you care?